This talk evolved a lot into something that I actually didn't expect. I guess I have to change the title of the video. I saw once a world traveler by bold saying that he was a slow starter. I don't consider myself being a slow starter. I just start my days mostly relatively slow. Waking up, mostly starting my day with a shower. And then the first mission of the day to find some breakfast. When I get into a new town, I'll try to find a nice place nearby with great food and relatively cheap. And if the staff is nice, the food is great, I will mostly be there every single day because walking around trying to find food in the morning for me is a lot. Especially sometimes I try, then everything is closed and then all of a sudden you just need to eat whatever is around, which is not necessarily always the best food. So finding a really nice place to eat breakfast in the morning is so important for me. Here in Kuala Lumpur, I found this amazing spot. They are open from 5.30 to 2 in the afternoon, and that's it. I wish that place was open in the evening also. The food is incredible, the staff is really nice. So this video is mostly about a day off. I have like different kinds of days. So every day is different for me. There is a range of categories the days fall into though. Traveling days, there will be an off day, and then there will be work day. And work day is actually like two different work days, maybe three. Got sweat in my eye. <laughs> work days will be filming days, Kind of like this, but this is more treated like an off day. But then again, it's a working day because I'm filming it. And then there is the editing day. Sometimes these two days are combined. So I will film in the morning and then edit in the evening. In Japan, I did that every day. 
that can of course be very very hard to keep on going like that in the start i would do that all the time now i try to like break it up so i have more time to do the edit more time to rest also so it's not like just pushing all the time because it can be a lot in the long run to like keep on going like that especially when you're almost 40 as me if i was 20 i would probably do that all the time so on a day off like that, as I just told you, I start in the morning relatively slow, try to find some food, and then I will go find a cup of coffee somewhere. And then again, the morning coffee, almost the same place if I find a nice place nearby. Where I'm staying right now, there is no nice place nearby. And to be honest, here in Kuala Lumpur, I haven't had any really nice coffee. I had like this one, there is an okay coffee. Now people are noisy again. <laughs> I'm happy they're doing their work. That's the people taking care of all the trash in the park. I completely forgot where I was. Uh, we're talking about the day offs. <laughs> as soon as I sat down, everything started being noisy around here. Like people over there starting, there's like, a, what is it called? There's a construction site, it's called, over there. Whereas the other days I've been walking around here, there haven't been anything noise from there at all. And today they're using hammers and all kinds of noisy stuff days off i'll buy a coffee and then mostly someday i will do nothing and just like stay in the place that i'm staying just completely relaxing if i feel like i need that mostly i will go out and move my body i always need to move a little bit if i'm too stationary my body starts to hurt and my brain starts to not function so mostly I will buy a coffee and here in Kuala Lumpur nearby the Personas Towers is this relatively big park for being inside a city and it's amazing you can run here and you can walk around here so today I decided to come here and just walk around this beautiful park the nice thing about being in a park like this is you don't have to worry about traffic and stuff like that. And especially in a city as Kuala Lumpur, where a lot of the places there's no sidewalks or anything, you always have to be a little bit alert in your head, or there's like a hole in the ground all of a sudden, and cars and scooters and people all over the place. So what I usually do is, and I'm trying to say with all this, is if there is a place that looks like it's nice to walk, without any traffic i would go there and just walk and then mostly my mind will actually think about work and this is the hardest for me actually is to not work it's so tough i'm still trying to find a way to not work on my days off it almost never happens almost never happens sometimes i will go and get a massage if i'm in a country where the massage is really cheap to kind of spend some hours, try to not think about anything and just like get the body up and running again. But it's so hard and I still haven't figured out a way to just not think about work or not working at all. So most day I would at some point in the evening either work on the phone, do some texting, do some titling. I would maybe do a thumbnail or write down an idea or something like that. It's almost impossible for me to not work. My hope and I believe when everything is a little bit more within reach and within my control, like the growth of the channel and all that, that at that point I will be able to relax a little bit more. That is my dream, <laughs> to be able to have a day off, like a proper day off. Because the last nine months, I had days where I haven't been working, but it's always like in the back of my mind. So it's very impossible, or at least almost impossible for me to take a proper day off. 
and I always try on a day off try to keep tracks on my steps so I try to keep it under 15,000 steps just so my body also can relax a bit that day it's not always happening sometimes I will walk more than 15,000 but I try to keep it under 15,000 because on my days on especially filming days I will usually walk over 25,000 steps depending on what I'm doing like yesterday I didn't walk that much because I was working in the hostel doing the video about the hostel that I'm staying in so it was a lot of hours of work filming everything and then I edited it in the evening it's funny now I'm talking about work days this is supposed to be a video about a day off and you can see now that it's so hard for me to not just start talking about work <laughs> maybe I will try and I just thought about that now I don't know why the last nine months I haven't thought about that maybe I should hang out some more with some people on my days off and then that will force me to not think about work maybe that's a great idea I have been hanging out with people sometimes on my days off but still I've been working a bit <laughs> and then in the evening for the food like normally I will try to find a place nearby where I know that it's very relaxed the food is nice and just go there and just eat very slowly and just try and relax in the moment of eating also so around where I'm staying there is actually not that many places to eat so I've been ordering stuff from outside in and then sometimes there'll be food at the hostel I'll then eat it's a funny thing now I'm starting to thinking about my days for this video as in right now actually there was a girl saying to me not that long ago that like you you're always on holiday and said it's not a holiday for me I'm I'm working like I'm it's not a holiday for me I haven't had like a proper holiday if I haven't taken a week off or anything like that for the last nine months and then she said but your work is being on holidays and that is true in the aspect of the traveling so I just said to her like I'm traveling I'm not on holidays at all like this uh, my office just moves around and I think if you haven't tried to travel full-time and I mean full-time is like over half a year like if you are not having any deadline on when it's gonna stop because the first few months for me was hard in that sense that I needed to learn how to take all of my stuff around and how to do everything around it and then just kind of find a way to relax in the stress of traveling which I found and I don't feel like I'm traveling anymore I think I mentioned that in some of the Korean videos also where that was where for me it kind of started to be okay I'm not traveling anymore I'm just living out here in the world so many of my days is actually how they will be if I was in just the same spot I'm just moving around something I learned along the way and it's very important is the fear of missing out you have to let it go because when you're always on the run you're gonna be sick you're gonna be super tired you're gonna be not able to go because it's raining but all that stuff you can't see everything and that's really something I had to learn was like don't worry about it like if you go to a city and don't see whatever next time you will be back in that city and then you will see it all I always travel around saying to myself I see what I see and I'm super happy about that and for me personally to go to a lot of the very touristy places is like it's a pain in the foot like it's horrible I see people and I see actually in this park here the other day where I was walking a family and they were crying almost all of them and I could see that it was like just 
that was so exhausted about going around f trying to find all of the tourist attraction being in the heat like going to all of the places where the tourists, the restaurants with the bad food, the bad service. And that's just like thinking, especially if you're on a holiday, then be on a holiday. Pick one thing you wanna see every day and then just do that and then just go to places where there are no touristy. I would get super exhausted and completely mentally ill if I only were at the touristy places. Like it will drain me completely. I go touristy places every now and then to see it, to film it, but in general I try to avoid it. And that's again because I'm a full-time traveler, so being with the locals feels more at home than being at the touristy place, especially out here where I look different. I look like a tourist when I am at the touristy places and I don't see myself as a tourist at all. I see myself as somebody that's living in this world and traveling it. And when I go to the more remote places, sometimes people will look at me like, what are you doing here, white guy? But mostly they're super happy that you go to the places that are not touristy to eat and visit and people will be super, super friendly. And I tried many times where they start offering me like at a restaurant, like an extra little side dish for free or like a soda or whatever, just because they're super happy that you go there instead of going to all of the touristy places. And sometimes, the touristy places are so westernized because a lot of the tourists are western people. It's starting to rain now. It's not supposed to. The rain has <laughs> destroyed so many videos for me here, you won't believe it. It's so westernized that you actually feel like you're not in Asia. <laughs> that the street could be a place in Europe. And why would you go from Europe or the States and then travel all the way out here. And then at the end of the day, it's like the same thing. I also sometimes will eat Western food, but I try to find like a nice place. Here they have five guys and I had a burger from there and it was really nice to have something. It's not like the rice and chicken or whatever else you would eat out here. It's always nice to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> this talk evolved a lot into something that I actually didn't expect. I guess I have to change the title of the video. Then in the evening, if a place have like a cozy hangout area as the place I'm staying in now, I would then try in the evening to maybe sit there and watch something, talk with some people and stuff like that. And again, like try to not work. You won't believe how hard it is for me to not work. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my goals is to be able to have a day off, like a proper day off. I guess that was all I had to say. It was not at all what I planned on saying, but that's how it is <laughs> with how I do my stuff at the moment. Is I guess just start speaking, then it goes somewhere. I hope that you got something out of this. And if you have any questions, like feel free to ask me in the comments if you have any questions about like traveling in Asia at least because that's kind of where I've been. I don't know if is the video is gonna end here or what? I feel like I'm missing something out again. <laughs> I'm not even done with my coffee, but I've filmed over half an hour, so. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. As you can see, I'm changing stuff up a little bit. And it's gonna be more and more into this like documentary style, movie style video, which I talked about many times before, but now I'm slowing down and actually everything is gonna be like this. So, so welcome to, uh, I was about to say the channel 2.0, but it's more like 1.5 until I figure it completely out. And then, yeah. Ada, I see you in Bangkok, or I see you in Kuala Lumpur. 
thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.